Good evening. The last time you heard from me was yesterday. I believe I posted on Instagram, Facebook, and I said, that's Purdy, and I'm taking out for a test flight tonight. Well, I waited, getting things, charging that battery, and took it outside. It was dusk. First mistake. So I was flying line of sight. Had the GoPro mounted on there just like it was, was in the picture. And armed it. Picked it up off the ground about six feet. Just hovering there for a little bit. Seeing how it was balanced, how it would fly with the uh, GoPro on. And I thought, well, let's go up a little bit higher, see if I can get a little bit of video at, at dusk. The sunset was pretty. So I took it up about 20, 25 feet. Then I made mistake number two. Now I'm flying line of sight at dusk, late dusk. So it's pretty dark. I turned. And when the drone was here, I knew left, right, forward, back. But when you turn, and you're not quite sure how far you turned, things can go horribly wrong. And they did. My drone, basically, it started going in a direction I didn't want to, out over the cemetery. Now, mistake number three. Cut the throttle, let it fall to the ground. Nope. Instead, I manned up and said, I can save it. And started messing with the directions just to see if I could get my bearings. The drone went that way. Back off into the, who knows where in the cemetery, behind a giant tree. What should I do then? I should just cut the throttle and go look in the cemetery. Nope. I can save it. Let's try the other direction on the stick. A couple seconds go by, nothing. Still have some throttle on that, no idea why. I, well, I do know why, I thought I could save it. Then I hear it suddenly go that direction. And then I hear a bang. Man. I thought, it, I mean, at that moment, I'm like, yeah, I'm done. That everything that I've worked up to was to have fun with this drone, and I was just an idiot. I lost everything. So, of course, I have a beeper on uh, my radio so I can make it beep, assuming the battery is still plugged in. So I go walking around. Both my neighbor's yards, I go into the cemetery, I go across the other street, because I'm almost on a corner. And you know, across the other street, probably, based on the noise. Uh, and nothing. No beeps, no nothing. There's cars, it's, you know, animals, birds making noise. I couldn't hear anything anyway, but still, nothing. Done. I, like, I'm not gonna recover from that. I don't have a lot of money. I, you know, this was it. This was the thing. It was going to take me another year to get back to this point. Finally get to sleep that night. Wake up this morning. Take a drive through the cemetery. I don't see anything. Go to work. Get home from work. About 5 o'clock. Take another drive through the cemetery. Get out. Walk around the cemetery. Now, this was one of my biggest concerns. When I say it went that way, it went that way over my neighbor's yards, across the street, I mean it's based on the noise, and hit something. What there is over here is a bunch of trees and then a 60 foot cliff or, or more down to a big river. So most of the day I'm thinking this thing is, this thing is in the river, I'm never going to find it. But I was told to be optimistic, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to go out anyway, I'm going to look. So 
there's a road that wraps around and there's a park by the river. I go down there, I look, I take my binoculars and I look at the, to the cliff to see if there's anything there. I don't see anything. I don't, my binoculars aren't very good so they weren't really helping all that much, but I didn't see anything. So and I go back and I walk along that edge again where the trees that where I think I heard it hit. No, there's nothing there. I go get dinner. This morning I had texted my one of my neighbors and I said, Hey, could you look around your house? Here's a picture of what I'm looking for. He said, No problem. After work, I'll take a look. I get back from dinner. He's home. He comes over and meets me. He says he looked around the house, he didn't see anything. But he walks me back through my steps. Uh, so I say, hey, I was standing over here, it went that way, then I heard it go that way, and it hit a tree. Somewhere over there. All right, let's go that way. So we go, we look at a bunch of trees along the way, nothing. We go across that street I was telling you about. There's a little bit of grass, maybe 10 feet of grass, and then the trees, and then the cliff. Uh, we're rooting around, we don't see anything. And then all of a sudden, I find this two pieces of my GoPro mount. I, yes. <laughs> it was here. That's all I can think of. It was here. Here's the mount. But that's all I had. I had two pieces. Not all, not even the whole thing. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's still missing some pieces here. There was probably a good three pieces missing from this. But we had something. So... We go, we're looking around a little bit more and we get to the cliff and there's, someone dumped a bunch of brush at the top of the cliff. Uh, so we're still looking around and I say, hey, it's black. It's got, I'm telling my neighbor, it's got red props. And all of a sudden I look down and I see red, about 10 feet. The cliff, you know, you get the grass, you get the brush that was there. And then it kind of goes a little bit for about 10 feet and then it drops off. Eight or nine feet down that not so steep part it was the drum man ecstatic ecstatic but what oh oh yeah and right next to it the battery not just the battery the battery in one piece nothing wrong with it and Green, almost fully charged. This thing ejected from it probably immediately, right before it landed, or crashed, I guess, before it hit the dirt. Well, what I don't have is the GoPro. So we keep looking. I'm like, okay, so if we found these pieces, we're gonna find the GoPro. We have to, it's gotta be here somewhere. So we keep looking. And we kind of go from the drone to the, pe the pieces of the, of the, you know, the mount. We keep looking around, and I find my battery strap. Now, my battery strap was ripped. I mean, ripped in two. Look at that. Ripped in two. Like that. Still Velcroed. So that came off somewhere. But this one was further back. So it was like the drone, the pieces, and then the strap. So we keep looking. We're drawing the battery right next to each other. We keep looking, we keep looking. Unfortunately, that's where the story ends. We don't find the GoPro. It's probably buried in the underbrush or that other brush that someone dumped there. I don't know. But from what I can tell, I can, you know, using my great detective powers, um, this thing must have come in at a big pine tree right in the direction that it was going. I, I'm thinking it hit like this. A branch, the tree, something. There was some uh, like sawdust or a piece of wood here. It was definitely pine. Still smells like pine. Um, I'm thinking it hit that and that shattered the GoPro mount. Uh, there's one of the zip ties from the GoPro is gone. There's still one here. The GoPro went somewhere. It probably bounced and went over the cliff down the, down the hill into the water. I don't know what. That's fine. I, that, that can be replaced quicker than this can. 
Uh, I think it hit there. The pieces fell. The GoPro went flying. This, probably at the same time, put stress on the, the battery strap and ripped it along the carbon fiber here, probably. So this was probably dangling through the air connected. Probably, fly, you know, flipping or whatever after it hit. And it probably bounced. That's when the battery came out and it stopped going down the hill. Uh, but the battery's green. I haven't tried to plug this in yet, but I had to get the story recorded. Well, it was still fresh in my mind and I, and I still felt good about it. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's, there, there's not a bent prop. There's not a scratched prop. Um, I mean, this has got a little bit, but this thing's still gonna fly as long as the electronics are good and I'm gonna test those out. Now the question is, did was it because I couldn't see the direction of the drone in the in the dark dark light, you know, at dusk, and that's why it went all over the place, or did I mess something up with these zip ties putting the GoPro mount on? I'm gonna find that out probably this weekend. Um, but first, I want to make sure that I'm gonna take the props off, plug a battery in, see what see if everything spins still and go from there but back in business hopefully flying this weekend I'm not gonna have GoPro video I know I lied again I was going to I'm sorry uh, but I will have Mavic Air video uh, I'm thinking my GoPro my cheap GoPro I got now we'll get some we got some friends coming getting together to fly this weekend and we'll have some fun I didn't think I was going to do it. Now I will. So that's my story. Uh, if you learn anything from it, don't fly at dusk. Don't, especially don't, fit, just don't fly at dusk. Period. If you think you're in trouble, cut the throttle. Just let it fall. Something might break, but you're going to have everything. GoPros are tough. This is carbon fiber. You know, these are cheap. Break them. Just cut your throttle and cut your losses uh, that's my message to anyone else this kids just getting into this please 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 save yourself some misery and some agonizing night <laughs> uh, yeah that's it I hope you liked my story I hope you got something out of it if you did if you enjoyed it like the video this video subscribe to my channel uh, I will be posting now again because I didn't think I was, was going to stop. This was going to stop me from posting for a while. But no, back in it a day later, whatever. So I'm sitting here editing the video and I totally forgot that I wanted to thank my neighbor, Jeff, for everything he did tonight to help me find this. And yeah, I couldn't, I, I could, can't thank him more. I owe him some beers, some help in the yard. I don't care. Whatever he needs, man. Jeff, thank you. You are the best. Thank you. All right, on with the video. So, yeah, that's it. Um, I will talk to you again soon. Have a good night, everybody.